Hello friends, this video on application or derivatives part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1. First thing, rate of change of quantities. Let's take one example. So if I have my general equation, y is equal to fx be a general equation I have. And now in this case, it says y varies with x. So both are dependent actually. It is not that both are independent. This is a function where y varies with x. Both are dependent. For example, let's suppose y is equal to 3x square plus 2x plus 1. This is one example where y is dependent on x. So one equation of y is equal to fx form where y is dependent on x. Then my dy by dx we have studied is nothing but f dash x. Now dy by dx at some point x is equal to x0 is nothing but f dash x0. This is also we have learned. Also if you have two variables and which where x and y vary with respect to t. X and Y are not directly linked, but they are indirectly linked with respect to T, where I say F is equal to X is equal to FT and Y is equal to GT. That is, for example, I say X is equal to 3T square plus 4T, correct? And I say Y is equal to TQ. If you see X and Y are looks independent, but internally they are dependent because they both are dependent on T, correct? So in that case, if you see, I can use this formula if you want to find dy by dx. I can get first dy by dt and then I get dx by dt. You divide both, you get dy by dx. And the assumption is dx by dt should not be equal to zero because if this comes in denominator and this becomes infinite value. So rate of change of quantity, if you have y is equal to fx, right? If I have to find rate of change of y with respect to x, I'll say dy by dx. So this is nothing but rate of change of y and this we will say with respect to x. So whatever comes in denominator is with respect to and whatever comes in the numerator is rate of change of that quantity. For example, I say dA by dB if I say that means rate of change of A with respect to B. If you make a small change in B, what change it will have in A? dA by dB rate of change of A with respect to change in B. So we have, for example, I have distance time graph, right? I have X is equal to distance, T is time. So when I say DX by DD, I'm saying rate of change of distance with respect to time. And this is nothing but speed, correct? So D A by DB is nothing but rate of change of A with respect to B. This can be used for any variable a and b where a and b should be linked. If a and b are not linked, this is zero. For example, I'm having x is equal to, let's suppose 3k square plus 2k, correct? And y is equal to, let's suppose 2t plus 5t. And k and t are independent actually. If you see, x and y are also independent now. In this case, my dy by dx will be zero because you make any change in y, any change in x, they are independent of each other. So these things has some value only if both these quantities are related. If a and b are linked, then it will have some values or else it will be zero. So to understand the concepts better, the question says we have to find the rate of change of area of circle per second with respect to its radius. Understand this, the terms here is rate of change of area of circle with respect to radius. That is, let's draw a circle first. So this is my circle and this is my radius r. Let's a be the area. Area is nothing but pi r square. The question is asking me what is the rate of change of area of circle that is I told dA by dB this is nothing but rate of change of A with respect to B correct so here rate of change of area they're talking about so they're talking about change of area 
with respect to here b is nothing but radius dr so this is the quantity they are looking for when when r is equal to 4 that is r is equal to 4 so this is my answer this is my answer why right? this is the quantity they are looking for now we have to find the value i know a is nothing but pi r square so this is nothing but d of pi r square by dr at r is equal to 4. Correct. So if you find the d of pi r square with respect to r, pi is constant, r square became 2r. How come? d of r to the power n to the by dr is nothing but n r to the power n minus 1. Correct. This is the formula we have. If you don't understand this, please watch my previous videos where I explained how to find derivative. So this is what you get. That is n is 2 r to the power 2 minus 1 that is r to the power 1 that is 2r. So pi 2r is nothing but d of area with respect to r. And we have to find this at r is equal to 4. So this is nothing but pi into 2 into instead of r I will say 4. That is nothing but 8 pi. And that is my answer. Now what is the unit? We are talking about rate of change of area per second with respect to radius meter per second why because if you see this guy this guy is in meters if you see it is meters only one r component this guy is area is meter square if you see this uh, unit of this will be in meter and talking about per second so you can write per second so please don't get confused with per second here this is just to confuse you the question says rate of change of area with respect to radius so that is we are finding dA area by dr d area by dr is nothing but d of pi r square by dr we use a derivative formula to get the value as pi into 2r and then we replaced r with 4 and we got 8 pi as the answer let's check one more example the question says the volume of the cube is increasing at the rate of 8 cubic centimeter per second. We have to find, this is cubic, we have to find how fast is the surface area increasing when the length is 12 centimeter. So let's understand the problem. The question says the keywords here are the volume of the cube, volume of the cube increasing at the rate of this we have to find surface area how fast surface area is increasing when the length is 12 centimeter the question is something like this this is my q correct now the volume is increasing at the rate of 8 centimeter q per second it means d volume by dt because change in volume with respect to time because it is if you see per second this is a volume unit of volume this is unit of time so it is d volume by dt this is a critical thing here we don't understand this the solving problem will be difficult if you understand this part itself this question is nothing let's understand once again the volume is increasing at the rate of 8 centimeter cube per second that means i'm talking about change in volume with respect to time that is d volume by dt and this is nothing but 8 centimeter cube per second this is given to me correct now the question says how fast is the surface area increasing that means i have to find d of surface area with respect to dt y because it's saying how fast fast is nothing but change of surface area with respect to time because fast slow this denotes time how fast is surface area is increasing when the length of edge is 12 so you have to find d of surface area with respect to d where l is equal to 12 centimeter correct so the question is d volume by dt is nothing but 8 centimeter cube per second we have to find d surface area with respect to dt where l is equal to 12 cm. 
So if this part is clear, the question is very simple. The formula of volume for this cube is nothing but V is L cube. If let's suppose the length is L. All the lengths are L. Correct. So V is L. What is surface area? Is nothing but 6L square. These formula we know. So the first question says D volume by DT is this. We have to find this. So we can find out from these two that we have to find one equation in terms of L because see we have to find this value D surface area by DT. Correct. So this is nothing but D of 6L square by DT. And I'm saying that length is changing with time. This is nothing but 6 into t square become 2t. Sorry, 2l square becomes 2l into dl by dt. Correct? I have to find this guy where l is equal to 2l. Correct? l is equal to 2l I can put here. But still dl by dt is a quantity which I don't know. See, the question says I have to find change of surface area with respect to T. Surface area is nothing but 6L square. So this becomes 6 into L square became 2L into DL by DT. Correct? So this guy DL by DT is something which we don't know. How can we find DL by DT? We can find using this equation. Correct? This is equation 1 and this is equation 2. From equation 1 I can find. So let's take this equation 1. Volume is nothing but L cube. So this becomes D volume becomes D of L cube by DT that is nothing but 3 L square into D L by DT and the value of this is nothing but 8 centimeter cube per second given. So from this I can say D L by DT is nothing but 8 by 3L square. So this is let's suppose my third equation. So this is my fourth equation. I found DL by DT in terms of L. And that's all my problem. So I can combine third and fourth. So I'll get my D of surface area by DT will be nothing but 6 into 2L into DL by DT is nothing but 8 by 3L square. Correct. 3 and 6 I can cancel 2. So this becomes 8 into 2, 16 into 2, 32. And this becomes L and L squared cancel 32 by L. Correct. And what is the value of L? L is 12 centimeter. L is 12 centimeter. So this is where L is 12 is nothing but 32 by and that is my answer. So what we have done here, change in volume with respect to time was given to us. So we just kept it. We were asked to find change of surface area with respect to T when L was 12. We used the formula of surface area as 6L square. We found sub change of surface area with respect to T comes out to be 6 into 2L into DL by DT. We know the value of L but we don't know the value of DL by DT. Where to find this? What we did was we knew that the volume is L cube. So D volume by DT is nothing but when I found this is nothing but 3L square DL by DT and that is 8. From this I found DL by DT came out to be 8 by 3L square and thus my change of surface area with respect to T is nothing but 32 by 12 and that is the answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.